As soon as the rainy season ended, temperatures soared across Japan. Japanese Meteorological Agency warns that series of heat waves are expected to hit the country this summer. In some areas, it's already reaching 35 degrees centigrade. But in central metropolitan area, where it's surrounded by concrete and metals, the effective temperature is far more. Like many cities in the world, Tokyo has been suffering from heat island effect. But researchers said it has gotten worse in recent years. Increasing high rises along the Bay Area is preventing wind from the coast to flow into the metropolis, preventing the efficient heat transfer in the lower atmosphere, trapping the heat inside. Authorities say over 4,500 people were taken to hospitals in Tokyo last year for heat strokes, 10 times the number in the year 2000. This month, already over 230 people suffered from heat exhaustion. It's too hot to open the window. I use both air conditioners and fans to keep cool at night. I do not carry water with me, but try to go into cafes every now and then to prevent dehydration. The metropolitan government is now promoting green buildings projects and laying water retentive tarmacs. But experts say bigger scale measures are needed to have significant impact. There are local government subsidies in planting greeneries on rooftops or making green walls, but in reality it is very minimal and it would only cover about 10 to 20 percent of the construction fee. We need more for it to have effect. It is relatively easy to add green concept in newly built buildings, but experts say it is difficult to plant greeneries in already existing ones and maintaining them. Meteorological Agency says the number of days where temperatures do not drop below 25 degrees have increased rapidly in recent decades and advise residents in Tokyo to take precautions. Officials said Tokyo is hoping to ease the situation by 2020 when Japan hosts the Summer Olympics in the capital. Terence Hiroshima, CCTV, Tokyo.